The lack of access to transportation affects many Mississippi residents daily as the state ranks 49th in the country in terms of the number of registered vehicles. According to Mississippi State Economist Corey Miller, kind of much of the state is incredibly awesome. impoverished, yeah. making accessing a car uh, difficult. A lot of people have trouble getting credit. Um, so that makes it difficult to finance the purchase of a vehicle. The average poverty rate in Mississippi over the last three years was about 19 percent, the highest among all states. No income means no money to afford a car, and without access to public transportation, residents meet a continuous dead end. You, know, you really can't do much of anything without a car. You can't go to work, you can't go to school, you can't go to the doctor. Um, you know, there, there's very few parts of the state where you have uh, public transportation. Sociology professor Annie Kafer says lack of transportation is one of the greatest factors leading to poor health. There's, there's lots of ways that I guess transportation insecurity, if you wanted to give it a name, manifests itself. It's in total lack of access. It's in sort of the, the financial burden of maintaining that access, but also having family members that can provide access, but not um, access in a way that sort of doesn't also restrict your ability to, to do the things you need to do. Residents without cars in largely rural Mississippi struggle with getting to the grocery store to buy fresh foods and often turn to relatives to take them. But even a quick trip to the grocery store is expensive. What we found is patients were actually paying a portion of their SNAP benefits by purchasing food for someone who drove for them. So um, typically one of the, the pick five options at like the local Piggly Wiggly um, and that's what they would pay the person who drives them. So that can be anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks. Mississippi has a handful of organizations helping residents who don't have cars, but the pandemic has shut many of these local services down, including the American Cancer Society's Road to Recovery program, which takes cancer patients to treatment. Just for the fact that you're in a car, you know, there's a volunteer driving and then there's a patient. So um, they decided to put the road to recovery on hold, however, we are hoping to open that back up. Uh, we're just waiting on the word. The shutdown of Road to Recovery has left many patients without a way to get to treatment, leading to a serious effect on their overall health. People were not going to treatment. People were not going to the doctor. So there's that issue. Then there's the issue of people not getting their mammograms or their colonoscopy. I mean, a lot of that was put on hold. The lack of access of transportation in Mississippi is a consistent issue that is leading to increased decline of residents' health, and without sustainable change, the issue will continue to hinder the state's overall health. It won't be just a blanket policy that solves it. It's going to be working creatively and innovatively at state and local levels to, to address these, these bottlenecks. For Mississippi Health Divide, I'm Laurel Wynn.